had a little situation yesterday afternoon. Uh, about two hours before dark, I knew my babies was going to be low on water. So I come out here, give them some water. And some food. Well, my main rooster, Sam, which I raised him from an egg, I've always been able to handle him. Uh, you know, these roosters are naturally aggressive and naturally mean, but when he gets in one of those modes, I normally just talk loud to him point my banger at him and tell him I'll put him in the pot or whatever and he'll back off. And if he don't, I have had to kick him a time or two when he acted like he really wanted to spur me. I think that's him walking out right there. No, that's a little rooster. He's still underneath. He knows I'm mad at him. Anyway, uh, after I give food and water to the babies, uh, normally I get some corn and uh, throw some corn out to the ladies. Well, he stood back like what nothing mattered, and after I walk by him on the way to the corn bin, then he attacked me. Uh, he spurred me three times I believe from what they said at the hospital and all this happened in about five seconds now, I got one rule when it comes to a rooster spurring me you spur me you die the reason that Mr. Sam didn't die last night was because uh, after he spurred me I was bleeding Perfusely, and I didn't want to bleed out over a rooster, so I went in the house and grabbed me a towel, wrapped it around my leg, and went to the hospital. And it took three stitches in the big hole where he got me real good. And then the, the other places, all they had to do was just put some them little. Uh, Sticker things that holds the meat together because they weren't that bad. But anyway, there come Mr. Sam. How are you, Mr. Sam? You're fixed to not be doing too good. But like I say, I got one rule. You spare me, you die. That's my main rule. Well, as you can see, it's all over with Mr. Sam. He won't be spurring nobody else. But what I do want you to look at <laughs> look at that spur. He's still got my blood on him. Anyway, like I said, we got one major rule when it comes to roosters. You spare me and you die. Now, I've got another younger rooster in here. I was preparing for his demise anyway because uh, he's three years old. So I saved me a, a rooster, a Lavender Americana from last year. Sam's son, get away from him, hen. And uh, so he'll be the main roof nowadays. But anyhow, it's all over with now. Mr. Sam is no more. Just wanted to share that with you. Uh, I'll go ahead and. 
give my hands some corn. It's real easy for them to get upset and stressed. And if they get stressed, they're gonna stop laying eggs. You don't want to do that. Like a little corn too, don't you, baby? Give some to my other baby, that's his back pen. Baby's got some corn now. So, this is going to be my main rooster now. That Sam's son, that one that was born last year. You see, he ain't got no tail. <laughs> Them hens been pecking at his tail. They've been giving him heck. Mainly because they had Sam to protect him. They ain't got Sam no more. So this one here is going to become the man. He'll stop him from packing that tail. But anyway, just wanted to share that little bit of information with you. Sam is at no more. He is gone. I'll have to get, I've got a grandson that's five. I'll have to get him over here to name this other rooster. That's what I did with Sam. Uh, my next to the smallest grandson. Uh, three years ago, three and a half years ago, when Sam was born, uh, I had him to name him. I always let the smallest one name the rooster. They, they seem to love that. But anyway, that's all I got for now. Talk to you guys later.